The candidates need no introduction. The Republican candidate, Vice President Richard M. Nixon, and the Democratic candidate, Senator John F. Kennedy. Did you know that the first presidential debate occurred in 1960 between U.S. Senator John F. Kennedy and Vice President Richard Nixon? Yes, I think what Mr. Novin is referring to. Debating in various forms has a long history and can be traced back to the philosophical and political debates of ancient Greece. Here in Kenya, televised political debates are fairly new. They only started in 2013 and then in 2017 and now in 2022. The much-awaited running mates debate took center stage with Rigathi Gashagua and Martha Karua, or if you like, the Iron Lady, who fought their battles on a heated debate. So once you challenge those making the allegation and they don't do anything about it, then the matter is closed. To hasten cases is not the solution. Now, one thing for sure, politicians may outshine each other, but share a cup of coffee at the end of business. Believe it or not, just like the age-old question, are Tom and Jerry best friends? You remember Tom and Jerry? It's unbelievable, they still are. Tom protects Jerry by pretending to hate him to ensure that their master does not replace Jerry with another cat who may harm Jerry. Hmm, now you know. Before this debate, Polycap Igade and Johnson Sakaja took to the podium. Good, Karim Sarah. Good, good, good to see you. Pole, pole, pole. Traffic mbaya to sort. <laughs> now, if you ever doubted Polycap's clock, now you know that it's always on or ahead of time. Interesting body language can interpret a lot. Okay, let's start off with Polycap. Walks in, holding a notebook on his right hand. Mike Mbuvi Sonko. Unlike in 2017 when he represented former governor Mike Sonko. And as always, being the witty one, he tried to throw a dab. Like that. He walks pretty fast, probably in respect of... Now, at this point, Senator Johnson Sakaja was MIA, missing in action. Maybe, just maybe, he was doing what we call roundy muenda. Finally, his arrival. Very chilled, man. Probably in respect of Haraka Haraka, Haina Baraka. Back to 2017, this is how Dr. Ivan Skidero made his way. A wave, one hand in his pocket, coupled with a smile that he both maintained until he took his seat. Michael Mutinda was like, suits ain't for me, not for tonight. Anyway, body language can be interpreted differently. For example, pocketing could mean anxiety, but at the same time comes out as cool. You know, like former President Barack Obama. In history, we have had witty sessions. $10,000 bet? I'm not in the betting business, oh, but I'll, okay. I'll okay. show you this. I, I wrote the, I'll, I'll show I wrote you this. Sometimes cool can be lost. Well, others like the late James Stockdale of United States made it wittier when he made these remarks in 1992. Why am I here? <laughs> it's not over yet. When Jeremiah, for the light moment. 